In this video, I'm going to share a shortcut that I use when I am multiplying fractions. I call it pre-simplifying. I'm going to put the header at the top um, with the date as well as the topic. The essential question for this video will be, how can I multiply fractions more efficiently? When I multiply fractions, I use the algorithm method. That means if I want to find 2 thirds of 9 fourteenths, I would multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. Of course, then my fraction 18 40 seconds would need to be simplified. I see that my numerator and denominator can both be divided by 6, so I would simplify my fraction to 3 sevenths. However, when I'm multiplying fractions like this, I like to do a process that I call pre-simplifying, which means I like to simplify my fractions before I multiply. By doing that, it means that I don't have to multiply numbers that might be large, and it means that I have less work to do when it comes to simplifying at the end. Let me show you how it works by going back to my original number sentence. Before I multiply, I want to look for any numbers that can be simplified. Here's the trick. I can simplify any numerator with any denominator. The 2 and the 14 represents one numerator and one denominator. If I look at that, I notice that they have a common factor. They both have a factor of 2. So I'm going to divide both of them by 2. I divided 2 by 2 and I divided 14 by 2. Let me check the other combination now. I have a 3 and my 9. This represents one denominator and one numerator. They also have a common factor, which is 3. I'm going to divide them both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now that I have things simplified, I'll go ahead and do my normal multiplication process. My numerator time num times numerator, 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 7 is 7. There's my complete answer, which is the same that we got the first time, 3 sevenths. Let me do another example. Here I have 5 26 times 13 fifteenths. So here's a great example of when I use this strategy. I don't really want to deal with multiplying 26 by 15. It's a good time to pre-simplify. I'm going to find a pair one numerator and one denominator, so my 5 and my 15. I'm going to look and see if they have any common factors. They do. They can both be divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. My other combination here, I see 26 and 13. They both have a factor of 13. I'm going to divide 13 by 13, which gives me 1. 26 divided by 13 gives me 2. From there, I'll do my normal multiplication algorithm. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. My number is already in its least common form. Or rather, I should say, in its most simplified form. Try it yourself with the following. Try it with 4 27ths times 15 20 seconds. Take a moment and find a pair of a numerator and a denominator and see if you can find any factors that can help you simplify your fractions before you multiply. You can see I simplified my 4 and 22 before I multiplied and I simplified my 15 and 27 before I've multiplied, which meant in the end, the answer I got, 10 99ths, was already in its simplest form. So again, this was a quick video just to see if we could be a little more efficient with our multiplying of fractions. Um, feel free to use this if this strategy works for you.